Behind me is a machine that destroys tumors using sound waves. I'm here at the hospital that's done the most of this type of procedure to talk to the doctor that's done the most of this type of procedure to show you a demo and exactly how this thing liquefies tumors before your very eyes. Let's get into it. Histotripsy is a type of cancer treatment that uses targeted ultrasound waves to destroy tumors in a non-invasive way. And this Edison system made by Histosonics is the only commercially available histotripsy machine for humans on the market right now. The patient would be laying on the table. This device, which is called the water bath, would be sitting on top of the patient and we would position this over the tumor to get the patient prepared for the treatment. The water bath used in histotripsy serves the same purpose as the gel used during ultrasound imaging preventing air pockets which would diffuse the ultrasound waves and compromise the procedure. The water being used is regular tap water that's run through a special filter to remove any air bubbles. We're in an operating room, but this is actually not a sterile procedure. So there's no incisions or cuts or anything made on this. The most invasive portion will be getting an, an IV so that you can get a sedation, generally give patients anesthesia as well. So they're completely asleep, so they don't move once the therapy starts. Dr. Burns, who at the time of this recording has done more of these procedures than any other doctor, showed us how he begins by finding the tumor on the patient. So we can turn all of these different knobs to make the size, so it's calibrated to every tumor. And so we can make these big, we can make these small. We have to figure out how much power we need to deliver. That's different for each patient, each tumor. Um, and so we have to do some calibration steps and then we would start the treatment. Doctors can watch the histotripsy live via ultrasound imaging to make sure everything is going as it should. Think about this kind of like a, a satellite dish. So it has multiple different arrays of ultrasound emitting uh, basically sp spread throughout this. They're gonna collimate down to a very small little point and only at that focal point is where the histotripsy is gonna happen. So there's nothing damaging the, the body wall in between. The way these concentrated ultrasound waves actually destroy tumor cells is by rapidly expanding and contracting the gases naturally inside them. This is a mechanical destruction of the tissue rather than a thermal or radiation based. So it's more similar to surgery in that sense where it's mechanical, so it really liquefies this. This treatment is instant, so as soon as the histotripsy is delivered, the tissue is destroyed. It's not something we have to wait for. Um, down the road. Dr. Burns showed me an example of what the procedure is like on screen from the doctor's perspective. This is for demonstration purposes only since obviously there was not a patient in the operating room at the time. And so we're just pretending there's a, a tumor in here. Um, and so this is kind of what our workflow would be for this treatment. The doctor begins by setting planning points, which allow the machine to map out the shape of the tumor that is being targeted, plus a slight margin of healthy tissue surrounding it as well. Now the Edison system is gonna move this bubble cloud or through our planned treatment volume in order to accurately and precisely destroy this tumor. One of the benefits here, so you can see these lines, and so the histotripsy is really confined to this. It doesn't have a gradient, meaning it's, it's a very sharp margin, so we can get very close to critical structures without avoiding damaging them. The liquefied tumor gets absorbed naturally by the body's immune response, and some studies in animals are suggesting that histotripsy may have the potential to help in other unexpected ways. Where the lysate of the tumor may contain some sort of antigen or protein that has been hidden from the immune system. So in certain patients, when that lysate is absorbed, that may give a systemic immunologic benefit where your body's own immune system could recognize the tumor. Again, that's something that's kind of promising. It needs a lot more research in humans, uh, but it's something that we see in animal models. So I think in the future, we can figure out how to best harness this and maybe help turn this into a systemic treatment for cancer. Dr. Burns showed us some before and after images of patients who had undergone histotripsy and how the liver tissue healed after the procedure. Right now, histotripsy is primarily focused on destroying liver tumors, but there's potential for this technology to be applied to tumors in other areas of the body as well. And so this patient had histotripsy delivered to this tumor. This was her only tumor at the time. Four months later, we have an MRI showing that basically that entire lesion is resolved. We can see very, very small amount of a little defect here, but just comparing the size from the day of, from the treatment all the way down to four months later, you can see that basically the you know liver has basically repaired this entire area and reabsorbed all of this. Trial to treat primary kidney tumors has just closed, so we're awaiting those results. Hopefully that will be available commercially you know, in the next year or so. And there's a trial to treat pancreatic tumors that's underway in Barcelona in Spain, and that'll be probably coming to the U.S. in 2026. And so histotripsy and histosonics is really a technology platform. This is a new technology. This is gonna to expand to every organ in the body. Looking at future trials, probably gonna to come to prostate to treat BPH and large prostate, potentially prostate cancer. You can think maybe uterine fibroids, smaller devices, maybe able to treat breast tumors, thyroid nodules, even think about brain tumors. This is gonna expand across the entire body, cancerous and non-cancerous, 
uh, conditions. Air-filled organs like lungs, stomach, and intestines still propose a challenge due to the fact that ultrasound waves dissipate in air. Dr. Burns says a histotripsy procedure can take about one to three hours depending on how many tumors are being targeted. Most patients with histotripsy go home a couple hours after the procedure. It's fairly common to have some pain or discomfort where the treatment goes in. For smaller treatment, some patients have no symptoms at all. After the procedure, patients can have some systemic inflammatory symptoms. That generally starts the day afterwards. That's fever, a flu-like illness, just, just the general malaise feeling. That's very normal, that's the body reacting. This doesn't replace all surgeries, but it, there may be patients that could benefit from this rather than proceeding to a surgery, which obviously will have more complications, may require hospital stays. And this procedure can also be repeated many times. So as long as the patient's liver function is normal, we can go after multiple tumors, either in the same session or over multiple procedures, kind of spread out over weeks or months. Histotripsy got FDA approval back in October of 2023 and is expanding availability as more machines are produced. So there's probably at least a center near you, if not in your state, at least near. It's available, it's gonna go be in the UK, other areas in Asia. So this is gonna expand globally as time comes. They just have to build enough units. Let us know down in the comments about any medical technology you'd like to see us cover next, and subscribe to CNET for everything that makes you say, what the future.